Welcome to Norton High School, where today we have a girls softball matchup between Norton and Bellingham. Leading off of Bellingham is the left fielder, Mazak. Pitching now for Norton is number 11, Isabella. So line up for Bellingham, we got left fielder Mazak leading things off, then shortstop Houston, pitcher McGregor, center field is Haynes, third baseman is Evans, catcher is Kamen, first baseman is Kelly, the DP is Silva, second baseman Alley, and right fielder who's the flex today is Higgins for Bellingham. And there's a ball a little bit low. Nice day here today. In the 60s at Norton. Starting lineup for Norton. Leadoff hitter is going to be shortstop Sandra. And then center fielder Morgan. Pitcher Isabella. Left fielder Sienna. The DP is going to be Campbell. And let me quickly cut to this. We had a strikeout on the first batter. So next hitter up for Bellingham. Shortstop Houston. Back to the lineup for Norton, we have catcher Lucy. First baseman is Avery, second baseman Paige, third baseman is Kendall, and the flex hitter today, or the flex player is right fielder Julianne. So we got one down now, nobody on. That one's fouled off behind the backstop. So Bella with a two and one count now to the hitter. That one a little high out of the zone. That'll bring us to two and two. So Norton team's got a few eighth graders on the varsity team here. And from what I hear, they're doing quite well already this season. That one ripped right back to Bella and good reflexes there. Snags the line drive for the second out. So a nice job there by Bella. Next up is the pitcher for Bellingham. This is McGregor. And that one's going to get by in the 5-6 hole for a base hit to left field. So Bellingham with the first runner on first base for the day. We got two outs, runner on first, and center fielder Haynes coming to the plate. There's a ball a little high out of the zone. So Norton infield is now looking to get the third out. They can go the short way up the middle if the ball's hit up the middle, get the lead runner at second or make the play over at first. They do have two outs. And that one a little out of the zone. That'll bring a 3-0 and count now to Hayes. A uh, Haynes, excuse me. And that one's ripped down left field. Out of play. So third baseman now for Norton going to be on her toes because that was right down the line in foul territory. Yeah. 
And that one's hit to the shortstop. She'll go the easy way and get the force at second base. So that'll go down as a six to four. That'll be the third out of the inning. Bellingham comes up with no runs there. We'll be right back. So we're back now here in Norton. Varsity softball against Bellingham. We're in the bottom of the first inning. Norton's first at bat. We got leadoff hitter, shortstop Sandra. And she'll take ball one a little high out of the zone. Ball two. And a good idea by Sandra. She'll take ball three. In the past, Norton had some very good hitters in their lineup. They're not shy about swinging a 3-0, 3-1 pitch. Those are good pitches to hit if they get the one they want. But she will take ball four and head down to first. So leadoff runner for Norton on first base with a walk. That'll bring up center fielder Morgan to the plate. Morgan takes ball one a little high. Uh, swing and a miss, uh, foul ball there. So it could have been a hit and run on. It was a decent pitch to swing at. She fouls it off. And she shows bunt, pulls back in the dirt. Runner takes off and easily gets into second. So that'll go down as a steal for Sandra. Wise of Morgan to pull back on the low pitch there. Gets a ball. Another bunt attempt, that one's fouled off. So she's got two strikes on her now. I believe the count's two and two, so anywhere close. Good eye outside. So it looks like the runner on second will try to get a good jump here. That one's outside. That'll be ball four. That'll put runners on first and second now for Norton. And next at the plate is the pitcher, Bella. And that one's cranked to right. Right fielder able to make the catch and the runner on second moves over to third, so nice job there tagging up, moving over to third base, and a nice rip by Bella to move the runners. Next up is left fielder Sienna. Norton now has runners on the corners, so I suspect they'll have something going on here. Try to move the runner over. And runner on first takes off. That one's fouled over on the third base side. So Morgan will retreat back over to first. And runner at first takes off. And no throw there, so goes in standing. That'll now put runners on second and third for Norton with one out. Takes the ball a little high.
A good discipline at the plate by Norton, waiting for a pitch that they can hit. And that one's cranked to left field, and that's gonna get out of here, folks. A home run, that'll be a three-run home run for Sienna, the left fielder of Norton. And she was very patient, waiting for the pitch that she wanted, and cranks it out of the park. So just like that, Norton with a three to nothing lead here in the bottom of the first. That clears the bases and that'll bring up the designated player, Campbell, to the plate. So Campbell now at the plate for Norton. They got one out, nobody on, and there's a nice hard ground ball that's gonna get past the shortstop. Get out to left field for the single. And Norton looks like they got a little rally going here. Next up is the catcher, Lucy. And there's a ground ball to short. She's gonna make the play at second. So fielder's choice, six to four for the out. And that'll be the second out of the inning. Bring up Avery Tinkham to the plate. Avery's playing first base today. So Lucy on first base with two outs, Avery at the plate. Takes ball one a little high. And there's a rip up the middle for the base hit. They're gonna bring the runner from first all the way over to third. They're gonna send her home. So a miscue there in the outfield and the runner from first base goes all the way home. That was Lucy and Avery with a base hit up the middle picks up the RBI. Next up is second baseman Paige at the plate. Takes ball low. Avery with a little bit of a lead at first. Goes back, no throw down. And takes ball two. So again, good eye at the plate by Paige Donahue. Page will take ball four and head down to first base. That'll put runners on first and second. Two outs. And it will bring third baseman Kendall to the plate. Takes a ball outside. A uh, good pitch there by McGregor. That'll bring us to a one and one count. Ball in the dirt, run his head back to the bases. Again, that one's outside. Hey, 
A straight call there. So anywhere close now. Kendall going to be swinging. Runners will take a big lead off on the pitch. Get a good jump. And that one's fouled off over here on the third base side and out of play. Nice attempt there by the third baseman of Bellingham. That was Evans coming over towards the fence to snag that one. Little out of play. So Kendall with new life there at the plate. Two strikes on her. And that one's cranked to center field. Center field uh, easily underneath it for the third out of the inning. Not before Norton does some damage. After one complete, Norton four, Bellingham zero. We'll be right back. So we're back now. This is the top of the second inning. Norton up 4-0. Up at bat for Bellingham third baseman Evans to lead things off. And pops that one up over on the right side. Avery hustling over near the fence. That one's going to be out of play. So new life for Evans at the plate. That one popped up. Looks like shortstop's gonna call it off and that will go down as an error. So it took her eye off for a second there. That'll go down as an error for Sandra. Next up is the catcher, Cayman. And here's a shot over the third baseman's head. That'll be a single and that'll put runners on first and second for Bellingham. Next up is the first baseman, Kelly. So Norton looking to cut down the lead runner, get the force at third if they can. That one in the dirt. Nice job there by a shortstop to come over to cover. Uh, there's a strike there. A one and one count. Ball a little low. That'll bring us to two and one. Again, the infield, ball hitting the infield. I'm sure they're gonna try to get the lead runner if they can. Up the middle, they can even try to go for two. There's a strike called on the inside corner. So Bella does a nice job finding her spot there. Uh, strike three is called, so Bella gets the strikeout on Kelly looking. That'll now bring up the DP Silva to the plate. Takes the ball a little high. That one's fouled off. A one on one count now to Silva. There's one out, Bellingham with runners on first and second. And that one fouled off, hit the batter in the box. Nice pitch there by Bella. Silva holds up there and called the ball. Uh, 
And that one's fouled off. Lucy does a nice job coming from behind the plate, but a little out of her reach. Uh, strike three is called, so Bella gets two batters in a row looking. That'll bring up second baseman now, Allie. Looks like Norton coach will call a timeout, head out to the mound, talk things over with the infield. I'm sure he's telling Bella to go right after the batters. To this point, she's done a nice job moving the ball around inside and outside. Caught two. Bellingham hitters back-to-back -back looking on strike three. They're sitting with runners on first and second. Two outs. We're in the bottom, uh, excuse me, top of the second inning. So Norton looking to try to get out of this inning with no damage done after the early error by the shortstop. That one fouled off behind the backstop. That one again fouled off. There's a ground ball. The second baseman picks it up, makes the play to first in time for the third out. So Bellingham comes up with no runs there in that inning. Norton coming to the plate after one and a half. Norton four, Bellingham zero. We'll be right back. So we're back now, bottom of the second inning. There's a ground ball to second, makes the play over to first. So one out now for Norton. That was the top of the order, Sandra, that grounded out. That one foul ball down here on the third base side, out of play. This is Morgan at the plate now for Norton, the center fielder. Fouls off the first one, takes a ball on the second pitch. Shows bunt and pulls back. That one a little bit low. Morgan takes ball four and she'll head down to first base. That's her second walk of the game. So good eye at the plate, being patient there for Morgan. Next up, Bella, uh, excuse me, yes, Bella at the plate. She's the pitcher today. Takes ball one. Takes ball two and the runner heads to second. She's easily in standing up. So that'll be a stolen base there for Morgan. Bella holds up on that one. That one's a little high and inside. A strike is called there at the knees.
Takes a ball and Bella will head down to first. That'll put runners on first and second for Norton. One out will bring Sienna back to the plate. She had a three run homer in the bottom of the first. Looks like they put a runner in over at first base. That one again ripped down third base side and foul. So her home run in the bottom of the first was over the left field fence. We'll keep our eye out open over here. Lays off that one a little high and runner takes off to third. Able to slide in safely so good hustle there. To move over. Norton now has runners on second and third with one out. Again, this one's fouled off, out of play. Good hustle again there by third baseman Evans for Bellingham. Inside and low. So good hitter at the plate. Again, being patient, waiting for the pitch that she wants. Runners are going to be on the move on second and third. Takes a ball in the dirt. I believe this is going to bring us to a full count. And she'll pick up the walk. That'll load the bases for Norton. They'll bring up Campbell Smith to the plate. Campbell had a single up the middle, her first at bat. We've got bases loaded. Bellingham coach takes a timeout and goes out to the mound, talks things over with his team. Tells them you gotta get the force out if they can. McGregor struggling a little bit on the mound. You don't want to give up those free bases with walks. Have some confidence in your defense to make the play behind you. So the umpire is going to take a walk out there and tell them to let's go. And Campbell can be a pretty powerful hitter up there herself. When she's patient, she usually has a nice line drive hits. And she'll take ball one. Takes another ball a little bit high. So Norton again sitting with bases loaded with one down. Campbell Smith at the plate. Takes another ball a little out of the zone. A strike call there on Campbell. So looking for something to hit. All the runners will be on the move. There's only one out. 
Uh, strike two is called. A little bit high there. That'll be ball four and walks, walks the runner in. Next up at the plate is Lucy, the catcher. So again, still only one out. Bases loaded for Norton. In the dirt. So coach talking to the runner on third. She really should have been in there once the ball was past the catcher. That's all right. Some of these kids are young. The coaches. Letting them know you got to take advantage of everything they give you. So Lucy's first at bat was a fielder's choice. A ground ball to a shortstop. Here's a ground ball to short. Makes a play over at third for a force out. A one run will score. So that'll be a fielder's choice, six to five. One run comes in. That'll be the second out of the inning and that'll bring up Avery to the plate. Avery had a single, her first at bat. Takes ball one in the dirt. And there's a delayed steal. And she's gonna be called out at third. So Campbell tries a delayed steal, gets called out at third. That'll be the end of the inning. We'll be right back. So we're back now. This is the top of the third inning. Leadoff hitter is the left fielder. Matt Zach, I believe. Again, this is Bella pitching for Norton, doing a great job to this point. Norton with a six to nothing lead here in the top of the third. There's a ground ball. This is going to be fouled down the third baseline. That one's popped up. Looks like it's going to drop. So that'll go down as a base hit. Popped up just over the infield, kind of in no man's land. Outfield is playing a little too deep to be able to catch that one. So that'll be a base hit for the leadoff hitter of Bellingham. And it'll now bring up the shortstop, Houston, to the plate. She lined right back to Bella, her first at bat. That one in the dirt, nice job behind the plate there by the catcher, Lucy. Keep that one in front. Takes the ball a little high. So Bella trying to move it around the zone. And that will be ball four, so that'll put runners on first and second for Bellingham. Nobody out. It'll bring the pitcher, McGregor, to the plate. She had a single her first at bat in the 5-6 hole. So left side of the defense for Norton needs to be ready here. You can try to get the lead runner out at third. 
And again, that one ripped right up the middle off Bella's glove. Center fielder comes in. One run's going to score. Nothing she could do about that one. That was hit hard right up the middle. So Bella sticks the glove up to try to protect herself. Goes off the glove and gets to the outfield. One run scores for Bellingham. Coach for Norton goes out and talks things over with the infield. Bellingham now with runners on first and second with nobody out. Number four hitter coming to the plate, the center fielder, Haynes. She grounded out on a fielder's choice, her first at bat. Bella takes a deep breath. She's good to go. That one a little high. That one fouled off third base side. So Bella's had two shots rip right back at her. It's tough for a pitcher finishing your motion after a pitch and be ready for that ball to come right back at you. Everybody else in the infield's in a ready position already. And there's a grounder to third. Makes the force at third. A throw over to first. Probably should have held on to that one just in case, but does get the lead runner there. That'll go down as five unassisted. Next up is third baseman Evans at the plate. And there's a grounder. Gets past the shortstop a little bit. Tough one in the hole there. That'll load things up now for Bellingham. It gets past the catcher and the run's gonna score. So Bellingham now with runners on second and third. Gets past the catcher and another run will score. So Evans moves over to third. And that one's ripped up the middle. Another run's gonna come in for Bellingham. So just like that, base hit and another run comes in. Next up is the first baseman, Kelly. Swing and a miss there. Good spot down and low. They make a throw down to first. Bellingham's came and gets back safely. Yeah. 
And there's a ground ball right back to Bella. Makes the play over to first in time for the out. So that'll now be two outs and bring up the DP Silva to the plate. That one's fouled off back behind the backstop and out of play. Another foul down, third base side. And here's a little blooper. Bella's gonna field it herself. Makes the play over to first. Avery with a nice stretch. That's the third out of the inning. Not before Bellingham does some damage. And it looks like we have a six to four score right now. Norton in the lead. We'll be right back. <laughs> so we're back now. This is the bottom of the third inning and Avery Tinkham, the leadoff hitter, rips one to right field and gets a base hit. Next up, second baseman Page. That one in the dirt. So a quick update, the score is Norton five, Bellingham four. This one's popped up over on the third base side. Evan's able to take that. So Avery goes back to, to first and able to tag up on the throw over to second base. So third baseman makes the play there. Should have just threw it back to the pitcher. Makes a wayward throw over to third, uh, excuse me, over to second. Avery takes advantage and moves over. And here's a little blooper to third base. Evans makes the catch for the out. <laughs> Looks like this will bring us back to the top of the order. Shortstop Sandra at the plate. Avery at second base for Norton. Takes a pretty good lead. Sandra takes a ball in the dirt. So Avery with a good lead at second. She's looking to score on a base hit. And that one out to center field. And that's gonna be caught. So fly out to center, third out of the inning. Norton comes up short there. After three complete, Norton five, Bellingham four. We'll be back in a few moments. So we're back folks here at Norton High School, the game between Norton and Bellingham. Bellingham at the plate right now. This is second baseman Alley to lead things off for them. And there's a fly out there to left field for the first out of the inning. Hey, 
Next up is leadoff batter for Bellingham, number four, left fielder. I believe the last name is Matzak. Takes a strike right down the middle of the plate, so a nice job there by Bella. Takes a ball a little high, so good eye there. So Katie for Bellingham gets walked. They got one out, run around first. This will bring up shortstop Houston to the plate. Takes ball one. That one a little low and in the dirt. Throw down to first, Avery does a nice job there. Keeping it in front, running gets back safely. And there's a fly ball out to right field, right to the right fielder. Nice job there by right fielder Julianne to make the play. So that'll be two outs now. Next up is the pitcher, McGregor. There's a ground ball to short. Goes off her body for a second. And runner's going to be safe at first. So that'll be charged an error to the shortstop. Next up is Haynes, the center fielder for Bellingham. We've got two outs, runners on first and second. This one's popped up high in the infield. Second baseman calling for it. A little shaky there, but does make the play for the third out of the inning. So Norton comes up. Without being able to give up any runs there, they'll be coming to the plate in just a moment. We'll be right back. So we're back now with a leadoff hitter for Norton Morgan with a base hit up the middle. So Morgan does a nice job as a leadoff hitter picking up a single. Next up at the plate is the pitcher, Bella. Bella with the shot, that goes off the shortstop's glove and good hustle going all the way into third. Morgan with good hustle and Bella with a nice rip, hard hit to the shortstop, goes off her glove. Next up left fielder Sienna to the plate. Looks like there'll be a pinch runner in there for Bella. Sienna takes strike one. Sienna takes a ball a little high. So Norton's put themselves in decent position here. Runners on f second and third. Sienna at the plate. 
And this one's roped down third base. That's going to be fair. One run scores, waving on the second. And Sienna rips a double down the third base line right over the base and brings in two runs. So nice job there by Sienna. Next at the plate, Campbell Smith. And that one's roped over the center field his head. So Campbell with a stand-up double and an RBI. And the bats are coming alive again for Norton. So two doubles back to back. Next up is number five for Norton. So she came into the game, I believe, for the third baseman earlier on. Shows bunt and pulls back. So number five is Liana. And she'll pick up the walk. That'll put runners on a first and second with nobody out. Next up is Avery. Takes the ball low. Campbell with a big jump. Heads back to second. Last thing you want to do is get picked off here when you've got a good little rally going. Avery takes ball two. And there's a rip to shortstop. They make the force play over at third. So that'll go down as a fielder's choice, six to five. Next up, second baseman Page, and there's a hit to right field. That's going to drop. One run's being sent around. Runner coming into third. She'll be in standing up. That's Avery into third, standing up, and a base hit for Page brings in another run. And there's a ground ball up the middle, goes off the second baseman's glove. Runners will stay there, that'll go down as an error. And runners now on second and third. Next up, we're back to the top of the order. Sandy at the plate. Takes a ball low.
So one out now in the field. Sandy at the plate for Norton. That one's fouled off. That one's a little high and out of the zone. Fouled off over on the third base side. So Norton doing some damage here in the bottom of the fourth. That one again ripped down third base. Evans steps on the bag, throws to first, not in time. So gets the force at third. Smart play there. Next up is center fielder Morgan lays down the bunt. Pitcher throws over to first in time for the out. So Norton does some damage there. Picks up, I believe, five runs. We'll check on the score in just a moment. We'll be right back. So we're back now. Bellingham at the plate. Norton sitting on an 11-4 lead here. This is the top of the fifth. Leading off for them is third baseman Evans. Here's a ground ball to short. Picks it up, makes the play to first in time for the out. Six to three, the first out of the inning. Next up is catcher Kamen. A big cut there for a strike. And quickly, Bella ahead on the count here, 0 and 2. And gets her swing in there for the second out of the inning. So quickly, two outs now. First baseman Kelly coming to the plate. She hit a ground ball to Bella last inning. That went a little low in the zone. And there's a ground ball to short. Fielded, throws to first, in time. One, two, three inning there for Norton. They're going to come back up to the plate looking for some more hits. We'll be right back. So we're back now. This is the top, uh, excuse me, bottom of the fifth inning. Bella to lead things off for Norton. They're sitting on an 11 to four lead here in the bottom of the fifth. And there's a pop up to right field. That one's gonna be fouling out of play down the line, right field line. That one's fouled off. There is a new pitcher on the mound for Bellingham. I'll get you the number there in a second, her name. Looks like that's gonna be hit by pitch, so she will head down to first.
So it looks like the pitcher on the mound now for Bellingham is number one, Gracie Clinton. That's fouled over here on the left field side. That's going to be out of play over near the camera here. I was ready. This is Sienna at the plate. Bella at first base. Takes one in the dirt. And that one's ripped and shortstop able to make the play. Throws to first and gets a double play. So that looked like it was going to get through the 5-6 hole. The shortstop for Bellingham, number 10, who was the pitcher, McGregor, makes the play and throws over to first for the double play. So nice job there for Bellingham. This is now Campbell Smith at the plate. Takes a strike there. Ball a little high there. Campbell's last at bat, she ripped a double. Picked up an RBI. Takes a ball a little bit high. That'll bring us to a two and two count. Rips that one down third base line and foul. So Campbell needs to wait just a second longer. She'll be able to rip that one up the middle. And there it is, folks. Line shot right to center field. Center field able to make the play for the third out of the inning. Bellingham coming to the plate down 11 to four. We'll be right back. So we are back now with Bellingham at the plate. Lead off hitter, Silva. She fouls one off over on the first base side. Avery unable to get to that when it was over the fence. And here's a ground ball to short. Makes the play to first in time for the out. So six to three for the first out of the inning. Next up now is Gracie. Gracie came in to replace McGregor on the mound. That one's popped up and out of play over on the first base dugout side. Again, popped up, out of play. So Bella hanging tough on the mound for Norton. They got one out, nobody on. And a big swing there, Bella able to take care of Gracie for the second out. 
This will bring us back to the top of the order. A left fielder, Katie, at, coming to the plate. That one popped to right field. Diving attempt there gets past the right fielder. So good hustle there. So as a former coach myself, one thing I would say about that, Outfielders need to run by pumping their arms first and then stick their glove out. She had her glove out a little too soon. It might have slowed her down just slightly. Just putting my two cents in for you. This is Houston at the plate now. That gets by the catcher. Runner's going to move over to third. So two down, run around third now. This is Houston at the plate. Here's a ground ball, third baseman snags that one, makes the play over to first, in time for the out. So great play there by third baseman and Avery with a nice stretch over there at first. That's a quick inning there, no damage done. Norton 11, Bellingham four. And we'll be right back. So we're back now. This is Norton at the plate. Leading things off for them is number five. This is Liana. Takes a strike there. When Liana came into the game, her first at bat, she walked, was able to come around and score. Takes a ball there. A big cut there by Liana. So this is the bottom of the sixth inning. That one's fouled off. So again, Liana looking for something to hit here. Takes the ball a little high. That one's fouled off over on the third base side, not a play. And there's a shot to the shortstop. Makes the play to first, not in time. In the dirt, first baseman unable to handle that one, so Liana gets on first base. Next up is Avery. Avery takes a strike on the first pitch. A good hitter here at the plate. Liana on first base with nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth. Avery takes ball two and Liana will take second base. And there's a rip right back to the shortstop. 
And another great play. <laughs> McGregor with a line shot right back to her, runs over, steps on second for the double play. Not much you can do there. So two outs now, nobody on Paige at the plate. Here's a ground ball back to the pitcher, throw to first, in time for the out. Bellingham with good defense that inning, shuts Norton down in the bottom of the sixth. After six complete, Norton 11, Bellingham four, we'll be right back. So we are back now, Bellingham at the plate. Number 10, McGregor to lead things off. That one's fouled off behind the backstop and out of play. So McGregor on defense, coming off making a nice play, line drive back to her, runs over, steps on second for the double play. And now she's gonna lead things off here for Bellingham in the top of the seventh. Takes a ball a little high and out of the zone. And that one's roped to left field. Left fielder going back, able to make the catch. But a long shot out to left field. By the leadoff hitter of Norton. Uh, excuse me, of Bellingham. This is center fielder Hayes. That one's out to center field. And that one is caught. So two quick outs. Long balls hit. Fly to left, fly to center. And this will now bring up, I believe, third baseman Evans to the plate with two outs. Nobody on. Norton looking to close things out here. And there's a ground ball to the infield. The shortstop makes the play to first. Avery able to make the stretch for the third out. And just like that, Norton comes up with a big win. 11 to four over Bellingham. So big win here today for Norton. They're back here again on Wednesday against Dover Sherburn. You can catch this in all the sports here in Norton on NortonMediaCenter.org. This is Deb Carrero. Thanks for joining us.